outside right now. We've got some pretty nice looking weather. We did have showers and storms last night. They were not along the cool front. The cool front is actually back to our west still, and these shower storms were way ahead of it. So now the storms have moved out, but we'll get a couple more refiring this afternoon, at least a handful. A lot of the heat, the stronger heat's moving out, but today we will still have some pretty humid conditions, and that could lead to a few showers and storms this afternoon. Isolated showers this evening, then a 50% chance, a higher chance Friday and Saturday, with the chance dropping off a little bit on Sunday. At least that's the latest forecast. Now, since the front has not moved through, we are going to cool it down slightly. It's due to more of the cloud cover than anything. So 88 degrees today, heat index 90 to 95. And, and there's still some clouds mixed with sunshine, but uh, yesterday we had full sunshine in the morning. So 83 for tomorrow for a high, the heat index comes down. We will cool off a little bit tomorrow, but that's because we're going to have more cloud cover out there over the whole region tomorrow. Now here's Super Doppler 10, no rain at the moment. We're going to see quiet weather between now and noon. And then going into the afternoon, you see some very small patches of green kind of come and go here. There will be some pop-up showers and storms going on later today between 3 and 6 p.m. And then overnight, a couple of stray showers. we got more clouds coming in. Now tomorrow morning, we'll start off with mostly cloudy skies. And going through the day, we'll hold on to quite a bit of those clouds. Now there's going to be a few showers in the morning, but in the afternoon, the chance of rain grows quite a bit. And between 3 and 6, there you go. Could even see some heavy downpours, some big clusters of showers and storms. That'll be for later tomorrow. Winds will be out of the southeast at the time. Let's say more out of the east. So at the moment, temperatures, they're in the low to mid-70s. We've got fair skies overhead. We're doing pretty good. And today, we've got highs about 87 degrees along the Outer Banks, 87 in Virginia Beach. Now we go inland and south, we'll see some hot temperatures still here. Chesapeake, Currituck, Elizabeth City, highs near 90, but then upper 80s in Norfolk, Portsmouth, and Suffolk. Mix of sun and clouds, a few afternoon showers and storms. You got 87 in Melpha and Hampton today, 88 in Gloucester, 88 in Newport News, and then 89 in Williamsburg. Again, a few showers and storms there. Now our beach forecast looks pretty good. Partly cloudy skies, waves 1 to 2 feet, low threat for rip currents. It's possible we could see a few isolated showers, but pretty low chance. In the tropics, we have two disturbances. One here north of Puerto Rico, it's even hard to pick it out. Um, National Hurricane Center says a very low chance of that forming, and I, I agree. Matter of fact, I think it's pretty much done with, but we'll see. Uh, tropical disturbance number two, though, here in the central Atlantic. This one's moving west. It's got a 70% chance of formation next few days, so we want to watch that carefully because some of the models take it up past the Lesser Antilles in towards the Bahamas, so we'll be watching that. We'll bring you updates on it throughout the day. All right, so locally, weather. We got uh, temperatures low 80s tomorrow. We got mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers and storms. Saturday, mostly cloudy, some scattered storms there, 82. And then we've got a little more sunshine on Sunday, 86. But the rain comes back again Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the 80s. We got uh, rain chances for the region for the next few days. And, you know, there'll be plenty of time, though, to get outdoors and do some things. Today, you know, we'll have some sunshine for a while.